welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Gold, I'm founder and breeder of Lubera and this, this is a pow pow plant. It's a two year old pow pow plant and you see it has already flowers on it. You see here the brown, violet colored flowers on this two year old Prima Pau Pau plant. It's a variety Prima and it's typical for Prima that it's already blooming. Prima is always the first and youngest variety uh, to bloom and it's a good hint for you. If you need a pollination variety in your Pau Pau plantation, please choose Prima, which has flowers much earlier than other varieties. So, today we want to talk a little bit about the pollination problems with Pau Pau plants. What are the problems? The problems are based on different facts. The first fact is that good form, Major. The the first fact is it's not a plant, a European plant. It's coming from the States, from the United States and uh, of course there there are specialized insects insects which are pollinating uh, these pow pow plants Asimina triloba but these insects doesn't exist in Europe so uh, there's a lack of insects which which help help pollinating this uh, uh, type of plants this Asimina triloba so that's the first problem the second problem we have is that the male organs of uh, these flowers here are later than the female organs. So the stamens are already okay, but there are no pistils at the same moment. And then it's rather difficult to bring both together for pollination. The third problem, as I've already said, it's a lack of insects which are going to these flowers. And the fourth problem, there are not many pow pows. Uh, in the gardens, that's, so there are no insects which have the pollen on them, uh, even if they would go to the flowers. And the last problem is that uh, uh, these pow pow plants uh, are self incompatible, so they are not able to pollinize themselves. Of course, there are now two self pollinating varieties, which is Prima and Sunflower. But it, also then it's possible that the self-pollination doesn't work because uh, both the male organs and the female organs are not, uh, at, are not ripened at the same time. So we just have a closer look to the flowers and the male and female organs now. And here we have the flowers of the pow pow plants. Here we have a younger flower and here we have an older flower. Let's have a closer look at the flowers. The younger flower you see uh, at the color outside, which is not so red, and uh, it's also more closed. And if you go inside an, uh, a younger flower, we see here the stamen, which is fully developed and able to receive male organs. So it would be able to be pollinized. But the pollen it's, itself, the pistils, are not developed for the moment. On the other side here you see an older flower. The older flower you can, can uh, recognize the darker uh, color, which can be a little bit of gray here. And it's more open. And inside it's like this, out of this, this has developed. These are fully de developed pistils and the pollen is ripened. But on the other hand, the stamen here perhaps is too old now to receive uh, pollen and perhaps the pollinization itself in this flower wouldn't work. What shall we do? We go with, with a pencil into older flowers and take the pollen from the pistils which are ripen now. And then we go with the pencil to a younger flower and try to pollinize here the stamen which is able to receive now pollen. And of course, if possible, we take the pollen from one variety and go to another variety. Or we have a self 
fertile variety like Prima or Sunflower and then it's, 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 it's possible to do it with the same plant. To take the pollen from older flowers and bring it to younger flowers. Go and give it a try and you will have a full tree of fruits. Okay, there it is.